Then he didn't have no print in his joggers. How do you wear this hat on white joggers? White joggers? I ain't see your piece of print at all. beautiful timepiece from JBW. Thank you so much to JBW for working with me and sponsoring today's video for your girl. Hold on, let me let me let me set y'all down. Let me set y'all down so y'all can really see this beauty. Okay, so this is how your JBW watch comes packaged. I got a piece from their Crystal collection. And when I tell you, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous timepiece. It is just sophisticated, looks. I think it goes with anybody's style. It's classic. It's just, it's so cute. Like it is literally giving me just rich, just bougie vibes. Look at that, it looks so good on my wrist. Also with my watch, I got this super cute bangle bracelet and it just pairs so well with the watch. The watch contains 12 real diamonds. Real diamonds, okay? So you get a luxe timepiece and you don't have to pay a crazy amount of money. Each watch comes with an authenticity card. It comes with your own personalized serial number on your card that matches up with your watch. JBW watches are just a must have. I think it looks cute with what I'm wearing today. You guys definitely need to check them out. I will, I will have a link and a coupon code down below. You guys check them out if you haven't already. And I'm just so in love, like. Wrist game is proper, baby, okay? Don't play with her, don't play with her. Once again, thank you so much to JBW Watch for sponsoring this portion of today's video. What is up besties and welcome back to today's video. Before we get started with today's vlog, we do have a sponsor. Y'all know I gotta get these bills paid. This pretty face ain't gonna do it. I wanna say thank you so much to In Color Wigs for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This is how your wig comes packaged in a nice sturdy box. Then they just give you a gift bag with the wig cap in it, some earrings, an edge brush, some lashes, and a second wig cap pack and then this is how your wig comes packaged it comes just in a standard plastic bag with a hairnet over top of it i did get this pretty gingery curly slash wavy unit all the details of this unit will be down below this is going to be a straight out of the box hair review y'all know i don't like to bleach my knots if i don't have to i usually only do that with like my jet black wigs um, with colored wigs, I usually don't need to do that. I know how to camouflage them good for me. Uh, this is how the hairline looks. Super curly. It is a frontal unit. So if you want to see how this wig looks on your girl, this color, stay tuned. I feel a chemistry I won't let no one Come and take your place Cause the love you give You can't be replaced So go now BMF and then I came back. So my hair is pretty much dry. I would say it's like 75, 80% dry. 
So, um, yeah, I love this wig. Like, this is my new fave. This color, what do we call this? Is this like a gingerbread color? Is this like pumpkin spice? What color is this? I love it. I'm gonna say this is like a gingerbread, like. If y'all can think of a better name for this color, let me know. Absolutely love it. All I did was a little bit of baby hair. I didn't do any um, sideburns just because I didn't feel the need for them. I mean, my ears are like covered up. It's just, I didn't feel the need for it. If you wanna do a sideburn, you definitely can. I just did my little baby hairs, did the little flip over and bam, we done. And I did cut about um, an inch and a half off the bottom um, just so it wouldn't be, um, it wasn't thin at the bottom. I just like cutting my wig. So the hair reverted right back to its natural state when I got it wet because I did have to finger comb it to get those loose hairs out after I did pluck the edges. And yeah, I, I love it. The color is bomb. In Color Wigs always has those bomb colors, always has super full, thick units. Their wigs never disappoint. I, that's why I love working with them because I get to have the fun colors when I work with them. So you guys definitely check them out. Check out their website. I will have a coupon code down below. The full specs of this unit will be down below as well. If you do want this, just click on the link and it's gonna take you right to this unit. You pick which length you want, and then boom, girl, we gonna be twinsies, so. I love it. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is like fun hair. It goes good with my skin tone. I always tell you guys, I feel like I can just rock anything. I don't know if it's because of my personality, because of my complexion. I don't know, but this wig looks good. So I'm, I'm, I'm here for the switch up. So anyways, thank you so much to In Color Wig once again for sponsoring this portion of today's video. And all right guys, let's get on to this vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are having a blessed and productive Thursday. Me on the other hand, I have not done shit. I have not been productive. I have not done anything. I did release a video today, a story time. So if you have not checked that out, make sure you do. But other than that, I have stuff that I was supposed to record earlier today. I did not do it. Do you know what I did? I sat up and I watched three episodes of Squid Game. Why did y'all put me on Squid Game? I am totally obsessed. It's messing with me getting my work done. Oh, I need to put water on this hair because baby, that indention mark is not, that's not cute. But anyway, um, the kids have a five day weekend, five days. Today's Thursday, so they're out today, tomorrow, and Monday. They don't go back till Tuesday. Five day weekend because it's teacher development, training, teacher training. Why do y'all need so many days of training? Like that's, I don't know, anyway. So yeah, the kid, why am I walking back in my bathroom? I done already took out what I needed out of my bathroom. But anyway, if you guys are new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the love, the support. Those of you that talk to me regularly in the comments, I know exactly who you are. I see you, baby. I see you. So thank you so much for that. This battery is about to die. Ugh. Let me change my battery real quick. And let me get in the car. And then I'm gonna pick y'all back up in a hot little second. Definitely was. Like father, like son. You asleep? Allergies fucking beat up right now. Oh. What's over there crying for? She's not. Come on. Hey. Bye. You know, arguing with your sister. We good, okay? Bye. All right, love you, baby. Call me later, okay? Remember, I told y'all the kids had a five-day weekend, so they are going with their dad. Well, they just went with their dad. My hair is literally bothering the hell out of me. Like, I really like this wig, but this is this is my only curly wig that, I, if I wear it in a ponytail, I have to re-wet it to get the lines out of it. My, all my other um, curly wigs, I could wear them in a ponytail for. 24 hours take them down and they won't have the indention mark see the ugly indention mark but anyway yeah so y'all know my baby daddy is the shit because he always has his kids he always anything 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 it's always yes 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 
no issue. But, um, so, I mean, not like I even have to ask him. I just told him, I was like, the kids have a five-day weekend. And he's like, bet, I'm going to get them Thursday instead of Friday. So, I'm about to head back home. I have some stuff that I need to record. And I got a Wayfair package. My patio furniture was delivered. So, I don't know if I'm going to try to put that together myself or I'm just going to hire somebody off a of TaskRabbit. I, I, I honestly want to just hire somebody off a of TaskRabbit to do it. But I'm an independent woman and I can just take the time out myself to do it. Or I can just pay somebody to do it. Oh, y'all. So, I just pulled up at Panera Bread. I was literally in traffic watching Kyla Shay on YouTube and she got a cinnamon toast crunch ice latte from Panera Bread. She said it wasn't that good, but I still want to taste that motherfucker because first of all, it looked good and that shit sounds great. I think she said that she got whipped cream and like two pumps of vanilla added to it. Baby, the first Panera that I saw, I said, let me grab my handbag and go in there. Do I need that drink? Do I need some a latte at 6.30 at night? No. But I sure want to try it. <sighs> Jesus be a fence. And don't let me buy anything else because they have some amazing cinnamon bagels. Oh my God. Be a fence. Be some willpower. Let go. Hello. Good. Thank you. Um, I want... A regular cinnamon crunch latte. Mm-hmm. And then a grilled cheese sandwich. And I want that latte to be iced. Yeah. Yeah, light ice, please. And can you make it with skim milk? Or almond milk? Almond milk, almond milk. Yeah. So just scratch everything I just said. I ordered the drink. I ordered the grilled cheese. Then I ordered a bagel for tomorrow, for tomorrow morning, because I bought some new like cream cheese. It's called like everything bagel cream cheese that I want to try. I've been eating it with crackers, but I want to try it on bagel. So I ordered a bagel for tomorrow. And then there was a 99 cent offer for any bakery item for 99 cents. So of course I had to buy one. So. I got a muffin top. Kill me. Oh. Kill me. Half an hour later, my God, that was crazy. I was the only person in there. I guess they have to make all them to-go orders, pick up orders or whatever. That is, was absolutely insane. What time did I put my order in? I put my order in at 6.34. And it is 7.04 and an entire 30 minutes for a grilled cheese sandwich and a latte. Um, that's, that's crazy. Anyway, this is how the latte looks. Like I said, it's called the cinnamon crunch or cinnamon toast latte, ice latte. They have it hot also. I got it with skim milk. No, I got it with almond milk. Eh. It's good. It's good. Um... I hate that I had to wait half an hour for it. It ain't half an hour good. Now let's see this damn grilled cheese. Shit balls. This thing is big and heavy. Golly. Why does grilled cheese feel so heavy? Ew. First of all, this thing is like not even toasted. And y'all use basic American cheese? Do not waste your money on the grilled cheese from Panera Bread. Do not waste your money. It, it's, it costs just as much as the one from Starbucks and the one from Starbucks. They use a special type of cheese. They use garlic butter. It's toasty, crispy. Look at this. This is like, like they steamed it. It's like soft. It's not crispy at all. Man. And then basic American cheese, like that's a disappointment. If it didn't take me half an hour to get this, I would go back in there and exchange it for something else. Man, F you Panera. 
It's my fault for uh, looking at Kyla Shea video. She said the drink wasn't that great. So I don't even know why, what made me even stop and say, fuck it, I want to try it. Maybe it's going to be good for me. Like a dumbass. I wait for delivery. I cannot wait to do my patio furniture. Oh my gosh, can I lift this? I probably can't even lift this shit, y'all. I said I'm a strong, independent woman. Oh no. I'm gonna break a nail. Oh shit. Okay. We got a little action. Okay, that wasn't that bad. This is the big one though. It takes two people to carry this. Let's see if I can do it a, a one a one a one person job. Oh. Okay. I. Ooh, we man, yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me stop before one of my neighbors is looking out that window. Y'all know I'm still new to the neighborhood. I can't be, can't be acting crazy just yet. Okay, so that's done. Literally before I left, I told the kids, turn off all the lights upstairs. They left the game room light on and Ashley left her bedroom light on. Like they just don't listen. Like I told them to do that and then I repeated myself. I asked them, cause once they came down, I said, did y'all turn all the lights and the fans off? Yes, mom. Yeah, we did. I kind of got to go upstairs anyway. Because there's a picture, pictures, plural, that I want to hang up in the game room and there's stuff I need to put in my junk room upstairs. My damn junk room, Lord. Ooh, helmet head. Uh, so yeah, I gotta go up there anyway, but still. If I ask you little regrets to do something, I expect you to do it. Cause y'all don't y'all gonna send me some links to can I buy some Tuka Buka books? Can I buy this phone case? Can I, can I, can I? And I'm always saying yes, but you can't cut off some darn lights. Y'all see, I'm still pissed about wasting my money on that damn food. I wasted 30 minutes of my life and I wasted $15. Not a whole 15, I'm gonna say 10 because I'm gonna drink this drink and this was about five or six dollars. But I wasted $10. And y'all know I don't throw food away, but I threw food away today. I threw food away. The grilled cheese was disgusting. Like my stomach started turning after the third bite. When I took that third bite, because I was like, let me just eat it, because I, I couldn't do it. I had, to, I had to throw the shit away. Then I ordered a muffin, well, a muffin top. Why that shit tasted like it was made at 5 a.m., which it probably was, because it was 7 p.m. by the time I got it. But the shit tasted like it was made a, a day ago. And I threw that away. I took two bites of that and threw that away. So I'm like, I literally, I should have won my first mind and just ate at home because I told myself I was gonna eat a salad tonight because the kids aren't here, I don't have to cook. So I was gonna eat a salad. And that was just God just telling me, girl, you ain't need this. I'm gonna let you waste your money though, but you don't need that. And that's exactly what happened. Hi guys. Skin looking glowy. <laughs> but I do have a little pimple about to pop up. All right there. I'm gonna put a little pimple patch on it later on tonight. Um, I'm about to eat this little salad that I bought from Target. It's called a buffalo chicken salad. It was 30% off. Yes, it was on sale. Hopefully it ain't soggy and oh, when this expired? Ooh, sale by the fifth and today's the seventh. Oops, we about to see what's up though. Because if it's soggy and nasty, I'm just gonna eat that cabbage that I made yesterday. I made some good old Baby, my cabbage is so good, you can eat my cabbage as a meal. And it got sausage in it. 
Yes, my cabbage is good. Lord, why did I wait so long to eat this salad? I know why. Because I was being a fat ass and eating shit that I wasn't supposed to eat. How am I going to lose weight eating shit I'm supposed to Oh, baby, I don't know about this. Maybe it's just the blue cheese that I'm smelling. Yeah, because the chicken still smells good. Is this lettuce wilted? <sighs> Let's give her a go. Can y'all eat full baby tomatoes like on your salad? These things that just explode and gush in your mouth. I cannot, I have to cut them into little pieces. Because that little gush and explosion that it does is like, ugh. Plus, I don't like big, big pieces of tomato. I just started eating tomatoes about five or six years ago. When I started, my sister was like, oh, you're finally growing up. You eat red onion and you eat tomatoes now. I never... Ever. Hey, I still can't eat white onion. White onion is a no. I can only eat white onion if it's grilled. If it's grilled, cooked down all the way, I can fool with a white onion. Red onion, I absolutely love now. I gotta have red onion on my salads, on my burgers. Um, Y'all yeah, love red onion. Or purple onion, whatever you want to call it. Same thing. Child, this do not look that appetizing. See, this is why I need to start wasting my money on pre-made salads and just make my own, because my own be fire. I need to go back to Salada. I ain't been to Salada. Ooh, I ain't been to Salada in like almost two months since this summer. That's a good salad. If y'all don't have a Salada in your area, if you do, you've never tried the Salada, try Salada. That, then you get that, um, that vinaigrette. That, uh, it's called herb vinaigrette, I think, or garlic herb, something herb vinaigrette. Ooh, baby, give me a scoop and a half of that herb vinaigrette because two scoops cost extra money to get two scoops of the dressing. You ask for a scoop and a half and it's free. Because it's, that half a scoop, usually, they don't be trying to measure. It's usually like two scoops. I bet y'all be like, why is this girl so cheap? She can go out and spend money on a damn bag, but <sighs> she is so cheap when it comes to other stuff. Is is do i like this i don't think i like this salad do i like this i don't know if i like this oh it's spicy So I ain't have the sad salad. I can't do no more. I can't. I can't do it. I'm going to just be hungry. Instead of eating wilted lettuce and... I can't. Ugh. Hold on. Let me get this trash together. Well, I guess I better change the motherfucker instead of just trying to smash everything down. Once the bag actually comes out the trash can... It's about a few more gallons that can still fit in there of stuff. So do y'all ever sit your full trash by the trash can because you want to fill it to capacity to save as much money as you can to get your money's worth? Yes, I do that. But anyway, y'all, let me just have a little chat with you. Please tell me why. I got two things to rant about. Well, one thing is like an influencer rant. Let me do the influencer rant first. Anyway, I need to film for this company. I need a film for this company. It's due tomorrow. Why my dumb ass did not read the contract and realize that it, the payment is net 45. For those of y'all who don't know what net 7, net 30, net 45 is, basically you will get paid. I will get paid 45 days after the end of this month. So I'm doing work today that's due tomorrow that I will not get paid for until December. Yeah, December. And I don't know why, how I missed that in the contract. 
Then, on top of that, it's exclusive. I can't have any other brand in with that uh, collab. So, you know, sometimes I'll do like a hair sponsorship at the beginning, then a different sponsorship in the middle, just so I can not kill two birds with one stone. This one is exclusive. So, so I cannot put a hair sponsorship at the beginning. Hair sponsorships are the easiest. That's why a lot of girls do them because they literally pay you within like, you send the content over, I've gotten paid as quick as like one hour after I've sent the content over. I don't even think they watch the videos, especially the hair companies that you've been working with for a long time. I honestly don't think they watch the videos. They just know you're going to do a good job and they just pay you. So, I don't know. This is just, like I said, this is just a YouTuber rant, an influencer rant. So yeah, I got to do work today that I'm not getting paid for until December. It's so annoying. Another of one of my YouTube friends, she said that she had signed a contract and she worked with a company that was net 75. Net se seven. Wow. Like wh what? What? I'm just going to say this. A lot of people don't, y'all don't like seeing hair reviews, hair sponsorships. They pay quick. Okay. Anyway, I digress. My second rant. Why somebody went back and told my ex fiance that I mentioned him in a video and I was just so unhappy with him. Can y'all like leave my ex fiance alone? Can y'all not go back and report? I don't want to say y'all like, cause I know it's not a lot of y'all that do it, but he, he DM me and he was just like, Oh, I'm sorry that I made you that unhappy. I didn't realize it. Someone told me that you mentioned me in a video and you just talked about how unhappy you were. I'm like, it wasn't even that deep. It wasn't even that serious. I literally sent him the clip from the video and he was like, oh, okay, yeah, they exaggerated. Why are y'all, stop, like, don't do that. Like, leave my ex alone. We have not been together for a year and a half. Yes, I did say dating is so ghetto. Dating is so hard right now. I do have times where I think about, should I have just stayed with my ex? Yeah, I was just being honest, but I ain't nobody say he was just, oh my God, I was just that unhappy. Oh my God, I just cried every day. Well, I was just so depressed. Oh, like, I ain't even say it like that. Like, it wasn't even, when, he, when I sent him the clip of it, he was just like, oh yeah. Because I literally just said, sometimes, you know, I just wish, should I have stayed with my ex? Should I have just stayed and dealt with all the shit I was dealing with? Yeah, I just, I just think about that sometimes. I literally said it so calmly like that and then just went on to the next subject. But yet, a little op, a little spy, a little hater. I don't know. Do you want to fuck him, girl? Do you want him? Do you want to fuck him? Go ahead. You want you want to fuck him? He's up for grabs. I think he's single right now, so he's up for grabs. He's a business business owner. He owns two barber shops, and he got money. Like, now here, girl. You ain't got to report my videos to try to get some D. He is cheap though. Just FYI. <laughs> oh my head, wop sided. Let me fix that. Child, and it's all baggy because ain't nothing underneath here. Y'all see that? <laughs> Bagginess. I can do whatever I want with it. Conehead. Wee oui, wee. Oui. I'm an Italian painter. Or is it a French painter? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Maybe I can cover my whole face. Give me all your fucking money. Give me all your money now. Yeah, when it's baggy, you can do whatever you want with it. Anyway, my kitchen is clean, floor is swept, counter is wiped down, refrigerator wiped down, all of my dishes are done. Oh, I feel so good. Guys, have y'all ever had a feeling like that somebody was like behind you? This is the first time it happened to me. It was very, very weird and eerie. Um, the whole time that I was washing the dishes, I had YouTube going, I'm washing dishes, and then also my dryer is going because I got laundry going. It just, I just kept feeling like somebody was behind me. It was the weirdest thing. And I turned around like about five or six times and I don't know why, like it was very, very, very weird. Maybe because it was just so much noise going on and I couldn't like hear my surroundings, the water running, the noise coming out my laundry room and then my phone watching YouTube, I don't know. I just kept turning around. I'm like, this is so weird. This is so weird. Like, 
I just, I just had like a weird feeling. And that was the first time I've ever felt that. And it, it felt very, very odd. I don't know. And it lasted for like 10, like 10 or 15 minutes the whole time I was uh, washing my dishes. I don't know. Let me know down below. Has that ever happened to y'all? It's just, I just, it was just a feeling of somebody. I don't know. I know someone's gonna say, "Oh, it's your mom. You felt your mom." No, this was this was an eerie feeling. I felt. I feel like if I felt my mom's presence, it would be more like peaceful. I could be wrong. I, I don't know. But she's only came to me in dreams. Um, I don't know, y'all. I, I can't explain it. That's why I just keep saying I don't know. I don't know because I don't know. This is the first time it's ever happened, and it was just the weirdest feeling, you know. So. I'm about to get Bessie out the drawer. Big Bertha, Bessie. I'll be going back and forth between those two names. Get her out the drawer, have her ready. One's in the chamber. All I gotta do is take the um, lock off and it's your ass, Mr. Postman. Okay, I recorded my content like a big girl, y'all, and I am back. <laughs> I should have been to that. It was like so easy and so quick. I don't know why I was tripping. But anyway, let me show you guys a couple things that I purchased. Let me turn this down. Uh, I ordered a phone case off of AliExpress. It's cute, but it is not what I thought it was gonna be. So this is the phone case. It's like a fake leather snake skin and then like a um, lion face to like, you know, the little holder and the little stand. But let me show you guys. So you see on my phone how like it's coming over. This was also from AliExpress and it came with a little pop socket on the back. But um, you see how it like comes over the edge. So if you drop your phone, the edge is protected. This does not come over the edge. At least it doesn't feel like it does. Let me see. I don't know, it might, but it don't seem like it co comes over the edge of the phone. No, it don't. You see how that's protected at the top? You see the gold there? And then this one is like open, open. So I don't know. This one doesn't like give me the protection that I, I need. I literally just dropped my phone twice today. So then I got these little tennis shoe accessories. So they're like um, rhinestone drips. Can you see that? Let me see if these things even fit. Cause I got them to go with my sneakers because I always say these just look like some mcdonald's work shoes and i got the all white ones that look like damn um nurse shoes from the 1960s i just got these to jazz them up i don't even know if this gonna fit anyways this is how it's supposed to look on the shoe it gives it just like a little like umph a little pizzazz but i'm not liking that and it's like not fitting I thought that was cute. Maybe they'll look better on Air Force Ones. I don't wear forces, so I wouldn't know. Do you guys want me to put these in a giveaway? Because I can. Next, guys, I jumped on the bandwagon. Yes, I did. I did. So these are from StockX. And if you know, you know. So I got the Yeezy Foam Runners. I believe this color is called Ochre, if I'm not mistaken. These retail for like $80, but of course no one can ever get them when they first come out, but the resellers grab all of them. So I paid $233 for these damn shoes. And I messaged two people that I know that own them and I asked them what size I should get. They both said size up. I also watched a YouTube review on them. That review said size up, so I sized up. So I'm hoping they fit. I'm about to try them on with no socks real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm a size seven in men's. And so I got a size eight in men's and I'm glad I did because with no socks on, they fit like perfect, perfect. So this is how they look. A really tan neutral color. I love tans neutrals. I will be wearing these with my skims. I know these are not everybody's cup of tea. People either love these or hate these. I like them. I like the way they look. And I know 
everybody that owns them says that these are like their most comfortable shoes so i'm happy with my purchase okay let us continue next package is from i think this is yeah nordstrom so you guys saw in my last vlog i ordered some naked wardrobe that did not fit so i reordered some more online to just give it a second chance in a larger size so let's see oh my god i can already see these don't match ah! these do not match and they matched online like i don't even want to try to take these out and try them out they're both called orange peel but they are two different shades of orange let me see if y'all can even see my lighting might not show you guys how different they are they are two different color oranges and they're two different fabrics that's crazy oh okay so these are their black leggings i don't know how i feel about these lord they look short these are a different style than those i don't know how i feel about this material on these okay so at least the black ones is both the same material the shirt and the um bottoms these are the same material so i'm gonna try this on and see how it fits so the top is just a mock neck long sleeve crop top they did damn these these leggings look short as hell okay i'm gonna try these on real quick it's about to be one o'clock in the morning and i'm trying shit on i really don't feel like it but let me go ahead all right so this is the black set i don't think i'm gonna keep it the leggings are just not high rise enough crotch isn't saggy or anything so this is just how much space you have i guess i have a long torso and they're not high enough and then this is how they look in the back no i'm not keeping these um even if i go up a size i don't know if they'll be high enough i like high rise to where it's covering up my belly button and i don't have like this portion of the top of my booty hanging out so this is a no this outfit costs a hundred over a hundred dollars so i'm not gonna keep something that i don't totally like love the top is super cute fits good but it's enough for me dog so i'm still on the hunt for a two-piece black outfit i still just can't believe i don't own a two-piece long sleeve black set like why is it so hard for me to find one i have a tank top version i have like two or three short sleeve versions but i just don't have the long sleeve one so Y'all know where I can go to find a good one? Point me in the right direction, please. She's giving Halloween. She's giving festive. <laughs> anyway, these are the orange ones. They fit cute, but I mean, they're not worth $55. They're just okay. Uh, they do do a little V in the front and they slightly do like a V here around the stomach. I mean, I've had ones from Dee Dee's that fit better than this that I paid $5 for, $4. So, I mean, they're cute, good material. I'd probably keep them if the top um, matched, but because it doesn't, I'm not keeping them. And okay, so everything's going back. That sucks. So, Naked Wardrobe is a bust for me. I mean, are their dresses better? Do y'all know? Are their dresses worth it? Because the, this, this ain't worth it. I'm, I'm sorry what's up y'all welcome to another day in the vlog it is friday october something day seven i'm not sure it'll be on the screen but it's friday i'm picking up the camera in the afternoon because i'm just getting my day started this morning i didn't do nothing i was around the house that's pretty much it i haven't even eaten anything today only thing i've had today is my good old faithful iced coffee in my cute little cup that i got from tarjay i love this little cup it's like so cute and it makes you feel like you're really drinking starbucks but you ain't pay seven dollars this is the equivalent of probably like 75 cents hmm. but um and i use my favorite skinny girl syrup that cinnamon vanilla that cinnamon vanilla is so it's so good but anyways let me show you guys what i'm wearing for the day at this point you already know i'm not even gonna say what my outfit is i'll go i'll, I'll, I'll show my accessories oh y'all y'all 
why was I up until 6 a.m., almost 7 a.m., watching Squid Game? I finished the season. Oh, my God. I was locked in. I was locked in. If y'all have not watched Squid Game on Netflix, y'all need to watch it. It's so good. The ending might make you mad. But it's so good. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. It is definitely a great watch. It has you thinking. It has you on the edge of your seat. You're going to want to binge watch it. So, Squid Game. I need some other suggestions of good shows. Like, because that has me locked. And I've been telling y'all, like, I don't watch TV. Like, I literally watch YouTube. And I watch, have YouTube on right now. I'm watching Kayla Cake. Hey, girl, hey. She probably don't know who I am. But anyway. Um... <laughs> That's what I'm watching right now. That's all I watch is YouTube. And I might watch like documentaries here and there. The only shows that I watch are Ozark, which only comes on once a year. I just started watching BMF. And I used to watch Power. But like I didn't watch the one about Tariq. I think I watched one episode with the Tariq one. And then the uh, Raisin Canaan. Uh oh, I feel like an eyelash just fell out. The Raisin Canaan one. Um, I think I watched like three episodes of that. So I'm like behind. I'm not caught up. And I think, yeah, that season's over, I believe. I don't know. But anyway, I'm just not a, a, a TV girl. I'm going to watch a vlog, you know? So, but anyway, let me show y'all this outfit because y'all know I could just talk, talk, talk. Have you guys watched my latest video? My Not my latest, but my latest story time? You need to because your girl tells a good story. I go into detail and makes you feel like you were there. Like I, I just give you the whole picture, background story, just everything. I am a, a very good storyteller. So anyway, if you haven't watched my um, hotel series, y'all need to watch that. It doesn't say hotels on it because for some reason, YouTube flagged my thumbnail. So I had to change my thumbnail and it just says story time across it. But all my other ones say hotels and that y'all ain't saying nothing about it, but y'all care about the mm, whatever. Okay, so this is clearly, of course, Skims. This is from their soft cotton collection. I believe that's the, I believe that's what it's called. It's not from their, wait, is this from their soft? I don't know. It's like the super stretchy and more slinky collection. Not their just bait, their um, classic cotton rib. It's their soft cotton, maybe? I don't know, y'all. Anyway. This color is called Copper. Um, I have on my new LV hat, which I just love so much. Y'all know I'm a hat girl, so I love this hat. I put on my mom's necklaces again. These were her chains. Can y'all, we can't see, hold on. Camera, don't play me. Yes, these are my mom's chains and I got her name uh, made for this one. This was her cross, I'm wearing that. Just some chunky gold hoop earrings that I got from Forever 21 a while ago. And then I have on my sparkly Gucci socks. I have on my foam runners, which I love so much. It looks like I don't have any pants on. From this angle, look at my, it looks like this could be like my legs. But I have pants on. But from here, it looks like I don't have any pants on. That's weird. Anyway, I love these foam runners. They are so comfortable. I mean, so comfortable, so cute. You either hate them or you love them, but so worth it. Like super cute. I feel like I'm gonna be living in these. And then they go with any type of neutral, like chill outfit that you wear, y'all. But anyway, enough talking about these shoes. This is the fit. Then this is the bag that I am wearing. Just my LV bum bag. I added this little chain from Amazon. I, I'll i link it down below if you guys care, if you guys think it's cute. If not, I have it on another one of my LV bags also. It just gives it a little character, you know? Then so far as arm candy, I have these rings on. I got both of these rings from AliExpress. This ring I got from AliExpress. Then I have on my new LV bracelets that I just got. I'm not liking this new style of how they uh, close. Like this just, it's not as secure. Like I don't, I don't like this. My other bracelets that were lost in the move or stolen. Yeah, stolen. Um, they have like clasps to where you actually have to lock it in and it's not gonna fall off your wrist. This, this to me seems like y'all are being cheap. 
like it's like a belt and you just pop it through the little thing and you can adjust it which is a good thing that you can adjust it if you have a smaller wrist or a bigger wrist because the original ones that i had they only came in two sizes and basically it had to fit your wrist perfectly because that was it there was no adjustments but anyway i'm just ranting for no reason now to figure out which perfume your girl wants to wear I haven't worn my Gucci Bloom in a minute since I bought it. I didn't buy it that long ago. I bought it like two months ago. But I've only worn it like twice. Oop! I'm about to drop the camera. Yeah, I've only worn it like twice. Gucci Bloom. I like it. It smells so good. This whole collection of uh, Gucci smells so good. And y'all know I am a sprayer. Very, very, very big sprayer. Mmm. Mmm. I love smelling good and looking good, y'all. If you don't know by now, that's the stuff that gets me excited. That's the stuff that makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. That's the stuff that just gives me the little quivers. Because I just love it. I love smelling good. I love looking good and being comfortable while doing it. Like I ain't tried too hard. Come on now. So I do have to go to the mall today. The saga continues with these damn LV boots. I showed y'all them in my last vlog and I believe I told y'all that they were too big. I think I did. I told y'all that they were too big, but I still went ahead and got them, brought them home. But then I checked the website um, every day and miraculously my size popped up. So I ordered my size. I had it shipped to the store. Fun fact, uh, if you guys order anything from LV, and get it shipped to the store it is one day shipping if you get it sent to your house it's like three or four day shipping so always get it sent to the store and then the good thing about it getting sent to the store not only is it one day shipping if you decide you don't like it you could just do your return right then and there and don't buy and don't pay on paypal on the louis vuitton website that messed me up one time i paid with paypal on the louis vuitton website had it sent to the store i didn't like the item and they were like we can't we can't refund you because we don't redo refunds for paypal i'm like what other stores do they don't so lesson learned um i think i'm about to go ahead and make this bagel real quick see i was gonna go out and spend some money but i forgot i got this bagel and the way things went yesterday with panera i really don't have high expectations to be honest with you now i do know this everything bagel uh dip is amazing but watch the watch the bagel be nasty say hi to me i like that like please say hi to me um so hey girl if you want well this thing is warm y'all it's like a little bit maybe that's my fault yeah, for know. leaving it in a paper bag overnight but yeah. oh my i'm a little embarrassed i wish i had like a black hold on Hold on, Kayla. Who, who's there, bitch? Hello? Wow. Panera. Y'all are too overpriced for this type of shit. But then again, Panera literally leaves all of their bagels sitting out in an open-ass basket. All of their pastries literally just sit out the whole time. I was in there one time and I see a fly just going to town tap dancing on the cookies tap dancing on the little muffin tops that motherfucker was literally twerking and shit on the on the snacks <laughs> but my dumb fault for going back and spending my money <sighs> all right we're gonna, we gonna keep our fingers crossed that the toaster is gonna soften it up yeah just fingers crossed y'all okay moment of truth softened up smells good it's i got the asiago cheese i probably should have got poppy seed i was not thinking oh, yeah, why is my head cut off like y'all want to see my head or do y'all want to see me butter this bagel i think y'all want to see my head make sure the dinner plates aren't uh 
falling out. Yes, I call my uh, nipples dinner plates because them things are huge. And it's like they keep growing and growing. That's another topic. It's another topic for discussion. Okay, let's try. That's not bad. Oh, I need some water. <clears throat> Shit. something dry than a Popeye's biscuit. Oh, shoot. Ooh, okay, let me try the bottom. The bottom is like fluffier, so maybe it'll be softer. That top is like really crispy. This bottom, I can do. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's so weird eating a bagel without, um like sweetness like every time i order a bagel i always um get like their cinnamon star crunch i think that's what it's called bagel phenomenal that's probably the best thing at panera that bagel is amazing and then you get it with that um like cinnamon almond or cinnamon pecan um cream cheese fire baby fire that shit will have you going back three days during the week Three weeks later, you didn't realize you didn't gain 10 pounds, and you're like, well, how the fuck I gained 10 pounds? I only been eating bagels. Well, bitch, you been eating the damn cinnamon toast crunch bagel three, four days a week. Yeah. But anyway, I'm like, let me let me try a little something different. So this is good. I recommend this from Target. Even if you don't want to eat it with a bagel, eat it with some crackers, so. Now I'm not going to start my day hungry. So now when I go to the mall, I'm not going to spend no money on Starbucks because my, my fake Starbucks drink is right there. I done ate half a bagel, so I'm not going to spend money on food. I'm going to be a good girl and just do my exchange, do what I need to do at the mall, and bounce. Let me sit this ass. Oh, yeah. Your eyes, all fits. Mm. Watch it all over me, baby. Be a freak. Them Virgos, they like them Scorpios. We some freaks. <laughs> I love this song. Be say, feel it pulse, feel it pulse until it comes out like a waterfall. I need me one of them sessions very, very soon. I need me a session like this very, very soon. Ooh. She say, my shit's so good, it ain't even right. I know that's right, B. The power of P.U.S. is baby. Yes. Yes. Ha. That's how I be feeling. I be like, my shit is amazing. <laughs> How these niggas losing their fucking minds. And let me stop. Let me put y'all away. Let me rock out to this beat because I can't even enjoy it how I want to because I'm filming. Let me let me put y'all away. I'll be right back. Ooh, that sun. Y'all, it is hours later. Like way, way, way later. Um, I went to the mall. I made my exchange. I made another purchase that I was not supposed to make. It wasn't even a real purchase, but like I said, I had those LV boots in a bigger size. I ordered them online in a smaller size to pick them up. And then I found another pair of shoes. And it was literally just an even exchange because they were the same amount. So I technically didn't spend any money technically and then I had I honestly I got back money because I'm I did a Nordstrom's return so I got back two hundred dollars and then I had a, a Bath and Body Works candle uh return and I love their return policy I had burned half that candle it didn't have no fragrance to it at all like you would have to stand next to it to um actually smell it and um I bought that literally no joke probably six months ago 
and she was like oh no we just exchanged it's fine like it's fine we just damage it out i'm like really she was like yeah i had seen on tiktok that they even let you like candles that are that you accidentally break candles that are pretty much almost empty you could have like this much left in there and they'll let you exchange it now i ain't saying y'all need to go and buck the system and do some shit like that mine actually i really couldn't smell it you know so that's why i exchanged it but if you want to buck the system i ain't telling you to do nothing like that because i ain't no bad influence you can <laughs> but um this is she said this one is new because i said i want something masculine and i have i have a pretty good variety of masculine and really fruity candles but i was just feeling something masculine and she um she recommended this there were like four that she recommended that were like their most masculine scents which was mahogany teak wood this one it was another blue one was it morningside i can't remember but it was like four candles she was like these are the um most popular with men this smells really good like this smells like a book smart nerdy man who's on his way to um hbu he's pre-med <laughs> he keeps a fresh haircut he's an alpha but he got his head on straight but them bitches like him you know but he's about to become a doctor and make that money and he ain't for the shits he likes to have fun but he ain't for the shits that's what this smells like this smells like a young boss nigga who's about to be making that money when he graduates medical school at 30. yup let me stop i'm a damn fool lakeside morning if this burns good like mahogany teak wood this might be my uh my new scent because that mahogany teak wood intense is my shit so it's gingham gingham smells really good too during the next candle sale i would stock up on that scent <sighs> okay i have not eaten today all i had today was that half a bagel here we are 6 30 i need to eat like i need to eat i have not grocery shopped well i don't have any meat thought out let me say that because i got meat at the house i would literally have it thought out and i don't do no microwave thaw out that that's to me that's nasty and it halfway cooks your shit i do a, a natural thought either sitting that motherfucker in the sink or sitting it in the refrigerator overnight see this is why i be wearing my crop denim jackets because like these boobs be doing what they want and they be just spilling out my bra be showing oh i'm at four subbies in the mall now that i'm thinking about it i'm at four subbies in the mall one of them was like girl your bra showing she helped me i'm like lord jesus thank you but anyway yes i'm at four subbies what's up y'all i met three ladies from oh where did they say baltimore i feel like they said they from baltimore i could be wrong but i feel like baltimore is embedded in here then i met one subbie from here i remember her name her name was jessica hey jessica girl um so yeah i love when i see my subscribers and y'all actually come up and say hi and approach me how y'all feel like y'all got a connection with me over the camera I, i'm the same in person like don't ever feel intimidated don't ever feel like nervous or feel weird to come and speak to me i'm cool as shit like i'm gonna come chop it up with you oh girl y'all in time to tell you what's the good store to go to in the mall i'm don't ever feel weird to come up to me because I'm I am so cool, so laid back. I'ma stop, I'ma talk to you. I was telling one of the girls, I'm like, I got boob sweat. Like, please excuse me. I'm <laughs> I sweat easily. I got boob sweat. Y'all, I sprayed on. Oh, okay. Just throw a whole 30 ounce cup out your window, why don't you? Jeez. Um, I smelled gentle fluidity by MFK. I know they have different kinds of gentle fluidity. This must be a masculine one because I think they have gold and silver. So it had a silver top. So it must have just been gentle fluidity silver. So that's a really nice scent. I just did two squirts on myself and it's almost, it smells unisex. Um, it has a really masculine smell but not an overpowering masculine smell. So gentle fluidity silver, I don't i like that i don't know if i'd pay that price for it because i believe yeah i'm looking at these bottles online now 325 325 235 yeah i don't know if i'd want to pay that amount but it smells really good 
and I can tell that it's gonna I this is gonna be on me for the rest of the night like you know have you ever smelled a fragrance and you can just tell that it is good quality this I can tell is going to be on me until I take my clothes off tonight Ooh, don't get over man check your blind spot sir you gotta look over the shoulder look over the shoulder check your blind spots we, we still driving like old school can't just check the mirrors we're gonna be in my lane and we gonna be off the damn freeway okay y'all i am at razoo's seven o'clock on a friday it's looking super packed in here oh can i even get out the car parked a little close i parked a little close let me say that because they were there first Oh, oh, just the old lady grunt. Oh, oh. Hopefully, they have quick seating just for one person. I'll even sit at the bar. I just want to eat and have like one drink. Is my boob sweat gone? Yep, it is. But uh, Razoo's is a Cajun occasion restaurant so they have like fried alligator crawfish stuff like that I didn't even realize like what time it was but um yeah so my dessert was horrible they had they gave me bread pudding terrible then they switched it out for a brownie I'm not a big chocolate eater so people who are big chocolate eaters would probably like it it was just too rich for me so I wasted that so Razul's used to have good um they used to have good bread pudding i don't know what the hell happened oh shit damn oh gotta squeeze in this little ass opening shit. teddy was all on the live talking about come meet me come meet me and i'm like nigga meet you where 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 do you want me to meet you and then he just caught ghost don't be telling me you want me to meet you and then you don't tell me where dude and i'm not going to swagger because i'm tired of swagger <sighs> anyway so i almost got that itis i kind of want to lay down close my eyes for me i only slept for four hours last night okay let me drive people are staring at me with this light on in my face in my car like why are y'all staring at me have you ever not seen a vlogger have you not seen somebody just talking to themselves in their car with a big, huge ass light? You ain't never seen nobody just talking to themselves with a big, big ass light on. <laughs> Let me stop. I know it's, I know it's not common, and I know people are gonna stare. So I don't even get mad. It's just, it's weird. It's uncomfortable. But I mean, I, I totally understand because before I was in this life, I probably would be staring too. Like, what the fuck is they doing? Who are they talking to? Okay, so I'm back home. I got my Aldi's candle burning. Oh shouldn't be lifting this up while it's burning but this is the candle that i've been burning smoked pumpkin cider oh oh smells so good i need to go stock up on some more so good all these candles are the shit three and i'm nine i'm just telling y'all they are amazing but i just want to show y'all 
my splurge buy from Louis today. I was supposed to be going just to trade out, trade out those boots for my correct size and getting my money back for the ones that were too big. But then I saw these. So I got some Louis Vuitton furry slippers. Do y'all see these? They're almost like a shag, like, I don't know, it reminds me of kind of like sheep, sheep wool. They're so comfortable. I first saw these on Kyra. I believe she has like every color. Yeah, I first saw them on her and then um, my essay showed them to me. She's like, it's an equal exchange. She was like, you won't have to pay any extra money. You won't get any money back. It's literally just an even exchange. These are the same price as the boots. So I was just like, okay, let me try them on. And then I'm like, they look so cute. Go ahead, wrap them up. So. That's what I got. If I still want to return them, get my money back, I can. Y'all know I'm one of those people. I kind of sit on items for a few days until I actually decide, decide. I mean, I got 30 days, but I will probably be, I'm probably going to keep these. I, I like the way they look on my feet. And I just like how like, I like how wide they are. But I was telling myself, I was literally just saying the other day, I was like, I need some designer slides. And I was thinking about just getting some plain Gucci slides because my sister has like three pairs of Gucci slides and she absolutely loves them. She wears them all the time, like literally all the time. She loves them. She said they're so comfortable. Sleepy too. Let me pick y'all up. I'm oh, sleepy. I've only had four hours of sleep. It is, it's almost 11 o'clock. Wow. Time be flying. Um, it's Friday. I'm going out tomorrow to the concert. So I almost want to just take a shower, put on my pajamas and go to bed. Ooh, ooh, it just hit me all of a sudden. I'm tired. I almost forgot before we go to sleep for the night, I need to scan all of my receipts on Fetch Rewards. So... All of my receipts that I accumulated today, scan them on Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a free app. No, this is not sponsored by them. I really wish it was because I tell y'all about Fetch Rewards all the time. Fetch, can y'all pay me? Please, I've been giving y'all business. Anyway, you just scan. You go to the uh, app like that and you just scan in every receipt that you get whether it's an atm receipt a wendy's receipt a louis vuitton receipt a restaurant receipt whatever kind of receipt it is you literally take a picture of it and it gives you points for every receipt like i had um a receipt from panera bread that i scanned earlier today because i went to panera yesterday it had an extra 100 point bonus so it gave me 50 points, then an additional 100 points on top of that. So all of the points that you get, you can turn them in to money and put that money on gift cards. They don't give you cash, but they give you gift cards. And there's gift cards for like Starbucks, Macy's, Nordstrom, Southwest Airlines, um, Applebee's, TGI Fridays. Like there's a ton of different clothing stores and food places that you can get um uh, turn your receipts into so I will put my sign up code on the screen if you are a first time person signing up sign up with my code and you get a free 2,000 points which equals two dollars and that goes towards you doing a gift card and you can get gift cards for as low as three dollars they got three dollar gift cards five dollar gift cards all the way up to fifty dollar gift cards so the more you shop Every receipt, you can be like me. I used to go in Walgreens parking lot, CVS parking lot, and people would just throw their receipts down. Like usually grocery stores and like little stores like that, people just throw their receipts down. Baby, you just bend down, scan it, get their points too. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So y'all sign up with my code, Fetch Rewards. It's free. You shop anyway, so why not get points and money back for it? Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. I'm just getting back from my kids' basketball game. Um, I just ate my first meal of the day. And now I'm in my closet trying to decide what I'm going to wear to this concert that starts at 7 o'clock. 
I'm not gonna get there till about nine. <laughs> I'm definitely not wearing heels. I will be bringing heels with me, but I ain't wearing no heels. That's totally out the question. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to wear like leggings. Well, you know I want to wear leggings. I always wear leggings. That's just like a given. Um, it's a concert, so I don't want to wear like a midi skirt. Like I'm, a, it's gonna be leggings. It's, I'm gonna be comfortable. Leggings and flats. That's already my my everyday uniform. But yeah, <sighs> I don't feel like getting ready. I wish I could just snap my fingers and be ready. I hate the process of getting ready. I absolutely hate it. Like. It makes my flesh crawl. It gives me bubble guts. It just, it's just not top tier at all. I got my little drink. This is some mango Ciroc with Minute Maid, a little bit of lemonade. Well, like Minute Maid Fruit Punch, uh, half lemonade, and then some grenadine. Mm. Cheers, clink, clink. So this is the face of the night, the hair. This is this wig is the custom unit sent to me from Zimona Collection, a subby. I absolutely love it. You guys will be seeing it probably in almost every video I do because I love it. This is my favorite wig. This is the best wig I've ever worn. So if you guys want a custom unit, check her out. No, it is not sponsored. No, I don't get any money kickback from this. She's just the subby, black girl magic. She do her thing with the wigs. I haven't ran my fingers through it. So that's why the curls look like this. Once I put my clothes on, then I'll run my fingers through it. But and lips looking a little bit dry. I haven't put anything on my lips yet. But this will be looking like so far. And tell me why my sister says she ain't even started getting ready yet. She was like, there was a man putting furniture together in my house, so I couldn't get ready, and it took him forever to just put little things together. So she's not coming. Um, so we literally have two free tickets. Too, because our other friend who was gonna come she's sick she doesn't feel good so anyway we got two free tickets i had called jennifer j corinne i asked if she wanted to go she said it's two last minute which i understand so anyway we got two free tickets i wish i just knew somebody last minute that'd be like yes let me throw my clothes on i'll be ready in 15 minutes because me that would be me if somebody called me you got three floor seat tickets to a jeezy and rick ross concert oh baby i'm getting up and i'm getting dressed in 15 minutes Y'all know I'm quick to go somewhere with, no, with not a lick, lick of makeup on my face. Put a cap on and I'm going to be looking like it took me an hour, two hours to get ready. So, but anyway, let me go ahead and get dressed. I got three outfits on my bed. And I need to figure out which one I'm going to wear. Oh, and these are magnetic lashes. Um, I haven't had my lashes done in about two weeks now. And this side was kind of like empty on the edge. So I was like, let me put my magnetic lashes on. So I look full. I look good. I can link them down below. I don't use that liquid eyeliner. I know they have, that's like the popular one to use where it's a liquid, you let it dry and the liquid turns into a magnet. Mine are literally like actual magnets on the lashes. So you put one strip at the top, one strip at the bottom and they like snap together because they're magnets. So I will link uh, down below a pair, um, the, the type that I use, but I bought my magnetic lashes literally legit probably like four years ago. So I don't have the exact link anymore, but um, I will find some that are close that are actually the magnet magnets and not that weird liquid stuff that the people use. Now, it might work good. I just can't tell y'all to buy it because I've never used it. You can't even tell. It looks like I still have, it's just lash extensions, so. <laughs> I'm back. Out of the three outfits that I supposedly was gonna try on, baby, that first one I put on, I said, this is the winner. This the winner right here. <clears throat> Tonight's scent is Marc Jacobs Decadence. Ooh, my bottle looking a little crusty. Ooh, Lord. This, uh, child, whole booby just out. Glad I got, um, pasties on. Okay, so let me show y'all my outfits. <sighs> my homegirl's like, where you at? Where you at? I'm like, girl, I told you I wasn't leaving the house till about 8 or 8.30, and it's 8.30. Okay, so I'm wearing this snake print um, jumpsuit. 
it zips up it has thumb holes this is from fashion nova i got this from fashion nova about a year ago and it's my first time wearing it oh glad i said that because i need to take the tag off <laughs> then this is just a black leather belt um the brand is express but i know i got this from tj maxx many moons ago probably about a good seven years ago then i'm wearing these black boots from dds i told y'all i do not wear heels to concerts i did that one time and almost killed myself uh yeah these are just some plain flat black boots nothing major like just some black riding boots these were $9.99 at dds i got these last winter um then my all black on black saint laurent bag i can wear this crossbody so i don't have to worry about it being in my hand or on my shoulder falling off my shoulder i'm gonna wear a crossbody and then gold jewelry and yeah that's it that light the beam from that light is getting on my nerves so anyway this is the outfit cute yet comfortable and this is how y'all getting it's a birthday clap it's a birthday clap bad bitch contest you throw your hoods up So we are going to eat at Velvet Taco. We had a, this one here is drunk. I am. She's drunk. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> We're about to order some food from Velvet Taco. I'm so hungry. Is that the line? Oh my God. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're about to go stand on this long line at Velvet Taco. Oh my God. We get to cut the line. Let me see. Guys, hey do guys. not drop my camera. Please don't drop my camera. Hey guys. So I am drunk. But this is my life right now. So it doesn't matter. Because oh, okay, there I go. I'm right here. Hey guys. I'm Gina's friend. Um I don't think y'all know who I am, but I'm Tanya, in case y'all didn't know. But I'm about to give me a taco because low-key, like, I'm like half Mexican anyway. Because I like Mexican food. But anyway, hey guys. And I have on Gina's flip-flops, in case y'all wondering. I have on her flip-flops. You see them? Oh, I'm sorry. There goes Gina. Gina's right. Let me see her outfit. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see Gina outfit. <laughs> oh, I'll say. Okay, there goes Sterling. He right there. Because we got to put him in the camera. Let me put Sterling in the camera. We, we, we don't, I, I don't know him. Why? Y'all gonna be Gina, you dating him? Are you dating him? She's no, I'm not dating him. I just met him tonight. He's Tanya's yes. friend. That's my friend. That's my half brother, and he's single. So they're gonna be asking, oh, "Who's that? Who's that?" They can't find me. They're gonna see me right here, and they're gonna see me again. Look at Gina. I'm trying to see what I want to eat, y'all. 
I'm gonna kill you that light on. You do? That light, that, that light is the truth. Huh? What? But they're not a couple, in case y'all wonder. And look at Andrea. Look at Andrea. I think I need one of these. Look, what look. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I need a person, a person, somebody to hold them off of the right. Drea. This is Jenna's YouTube. Say hey, Jenna YouTube. She do. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> she do. She do. So we're here. We're at Velvet Taco right now. We are. I don't know what the fuck I'm calling. We're from Texas. And we I'm like tacos. Right or should I say Mexican food? Yeah. 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 Just for the camera. Not food the other food. How much you got? Oh, oh say hey, Sterling. I, I want to be on the <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. Where is Gina and Andrea? Yeah. Look, yeah. they way That's back there. Sterling says smart to the Look. YouTube. Say hi, friend. Sorry. Um. How long? I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. I'm so sorry. Can you get a box to go? Yeah. It's a box. That's it. I'm so sorry, ladies. Hi. You are so beautiful, though. Thank you. Especially you. You're drunk. You are drunk. Ah. Yeah, I'm drunk. You know this that. Is like, yeah. 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 Please watch my camera. Thank you. I just hope you do this. Well, I mean, you know that. Thank you. What's your name? RJ. RJ? Huh? I have a girlfriend, but I mean, if I, if I, if I have a girlfriend. Uh, that's a different color. That's a different girl. Yeah. 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 Y
part of your intermittent fasting. I know on weekends, I kind of give myself a little bit of leeway. I come on now. It's like when you go out, how do you just, how can you do that? How can I not drink any liquor, just water when I go out? Like, it's just not possible. I do have a Coke Zero though. We don't want the empty calories. If we're gonna be consuming calories, we want them calories to count. Okay, home. Let's take I-69 South Houston, arrival time. Sadly, I don't know my where, my bleh. Sadly, I don't know my way anywhere in Houston without my GPS. Okay, Corolla, burning rubber on them little miniature tires. Okay, burn through that rubble. You gonna, on Monday, you gonna be buying new tires. Okay, so the concert, we were so late to the concert. Uh, we missed Lil' Kim, Fabulous. Boosie got kicked off <laughs> for some reason, and we missed half of 2 Chains. So we saw all of Jeezy, all of Rick Ross, and like two songs of 2 Chains. So let me just give y'all a little rundown. Jeezy had the crowd turned the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie. Jeezy should have been the last act. It shouldn't have been Jeezy then Rick Ross. One thousand feet, turn right. It should have been Rick Ross then Jeezy, baby. Um, Jeezy had that crowd so turned up. I just it's just so hard for me to keep to for me to take Jeezy serious now. Just I I don't I don't know. I just can't take you serious. Face like Trina and an ass like Jackie O. But that's not what you married to, nigga. Like, you is not married to... You not married to face like Trina and ass like Jackie O. You married to... And he kept on saying, where the bad bitches at? Where the bad bitches at? Nigga, you have the most basic bitch. Like, <laughs> don't be hollering where the bad bitches at when you have a basic of the basics. I don't know, it's something about Jeannie that I just don't like. I've never liked her. Not even that she's with Jeezy. I've I've literally never liked her. She seems very fake. I remember watching that episode of The Real when she was like, yeah, my husband, he wants kids, and I just don't want kids, and da 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 and, and I remember from that, from that point on, I'm like, yeah, that's, there's a reason why I don't like this bitch. I just, I just don't like her. And now she's with Jeezy, and she's all weird and fake and shit jeezy putting on this weird fake act y'all going bicycle riding in the hamptons and shit nigga you is the motherfucking snowman like but you're going bicycle riding with a basket on the front of you and some little uh, a horn little honk honking thing on your handlebars in the fucking hamptons bruh what i just don't believe you no more i can't take none of your rap serious like i just can't i can't then he didn't have no print in his joggers how do you wear this nigga got on white joggers white joggers i ain't see your peace print at all nigga is you wearing tidy whiteies underneath them them white joggers or something i should see a little bit of uh, meat swinging jumping a little print a little something i ain't see nothing i seen th that shit was like a pussy print like i said jeezy is really like nigga you done fell off i remember i went to his concert i have a oof. I have a, I just have so many story times, y'all. I went to his concert like 12 years ago and we ended back up at his hotel ordering so much breakfast food and waffles and eggs with extra cheese and, <laughs> oh my God. I was just talking to my home girl about this, literally. Oh right. shit. Dad, right what you talking about turn right? It says go 19 Take miles straight. straight. Let me turn this off because I know where I'm at. Anyway, yes, my homegirl who had got deported, that was my best, my best, best, best bitch. Ugh. She got deported like 10 years ago. But anyways, yes, we went to a Jeezy concert and ended up back at his hotel ordering so much fucking food. I just have, I, I might tell that story one day. It was, it's so fucking funny. And any, any, anyways, any story time that I tell, just know that it was 10, 12, 15 years ago, okay? Long, long, long time ago. I was young, single, and fucking wild, okay? Blonde Gina, blonde Gina was crazy and like a wild child. A hot girl before, hot girls were hot girls. But anyway, now let's get on to Rick Ross. Rick Ross closed the show out. 
Rick Ross had dancers. Rick Ross had a hype man. He had a strip pole on stage. Um, but when I tell y'all, he could not keep the crowd hyped up. Literally, I thought Koi LeRae was performing. That's how dead the crowd was. It Literally, I wanted to film it and put it on Instagram, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not even finna do homeboy like that. The crowd was dead. I'm like, how they so dead for Rick Ross? Rick Ross got just as good and as many hits as Jeezy, and everybody was rocking with Jeezy. But Ross get on stage, and the crowd is crickets like crazy. I, I don't know, y'all. He done, he showed his belly. He showed his little gut hanging, and like, no cap, that nigga needs a full tummy tuck. Like. <laughs> All in all, what we saw of the show, it was good. I'm mad I miss Lil' Kim. Y'all know Lil' Kim is my era. Like, that's my girl. That She is from my era. Gucci Man, I don't listen to his music, never have. I think I only like one song of his. But anyway, it was cool. We have floor seats. We're on the seventh row. Um, it's always amazing to go to a free concert. Yes. Yes, yes. It wasn't, it wasn't, let me say it wasn't free. But somebody bought our tickets, so let me say that. It was free for us. So Then afterwards, we went to Club Faces, had a few drinks. We were there for about 45 minutes. Then we wanted food. They had ran out of food at Faces, because I just wanted me a little ghetto meal, either pork chop sandwich or some hot wings. They ran out of food. Oh, no man, no boo, no nothing. Going home by myself. Me and the uh, Energizer Bunny, we might uh, make a little collab tonight. <laughs> if you know, you know. Sounded like a fucking barbershop in, the, in my bedroom. <laughs> buzz, buzz. But um, let me stop acting stupid. It's 3 a.m. Why is my ass wide awake at like it's 3 p.m. in the af freaking afternoon? Anyways, y'all, I'm about to end the vlog here. I am about to concentrate on this road. I'm about to uh, keep sipping on my Coke Zero and then figure out what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow's Sunday, I need to go grocery shopping. Um, and yeah. Hope y'all liked hanging with your gal. Oh, I met a subby tonight. She's from out of town. She was like, I DM'd you the other day about what's some good Houston spots. So, hey girl, if you're watching this, hope you enjoyed my city. If y'all ever come to Houston, I will let you know of all the good food spots, all the good lounge spots. I don't know about like club clubs, like real clubs, but like a lounge, bar, chill spot. I, I, I'll put y'all on that. I'll put you on. I had somebody ask me, I'm going to Dallas um, next week. Tell me if, like the good spots to go. So I'm like, Dallas is literally a five, six hour drive for me. I have no clue. I have not been to Dallas in like 10 years. Plus, I have not been, Ethan and Ashton weren't even a thought. So I ain't been to Dallas in about 13 years. <laughs> so I have no clue. I have no clue. Food spots, eating spots. I don't know. But I, actually, I get that pretty often. They People ask me, I'm coming from out of town, I'm going to Dallas. Can you let me know what's some good spots? I'm like, y'all know I live in Houston. Like, Dallas and Houston are not like next door to each other. Like I have not a clue what's going on five hours away from me. <laughs> but it's all good though. I, I understand a lot of people, they just assume that, you know, Texas is just one big city. All right, y'all, I'm, I'm leaving for real this time. Cause I'm about to, I'm doing 75 right now. I'm about to do 95 once I put y'all away. Love y'all, have a safe night. I'm about to catch these Z's after I catch me a good one. <laughs>